Your writer is rational and reasonable. It's the analytic. The writer provides the planning and direction. But that's only the one side of your psyche that will control change. The other side is the big tundra of body here, the elephant. But that is the emotional side. It is the compassion side. It's the energy, it's your motivation, and energy again, energy and drive. The emotion side tends to go for instant gratification, right, and comfort. The rider, planning and direction, vision and future. If those are opposed in terms of where they are going or what the payoff is, what will we have in terms of change and progress? Not much, right? So the rational and emotional, emotional, here's the deal. Reach the riders but not the elephants and people who have understanding without motivation. Anybody witness that? Reach the riders but not the elephants, people who have understanding without motivation. I'm seeing it uh, with a particular client now where uh, one of the senior officers in the company is doing, I, I just kind of get a kick out of this, and, and I'm not criticizing because it's there and it's real. It's just lack of knowledge. It's actually fear at work. And this executive feels compelled to shove the strategic plan down through the organization. Here it is, go execute. Right? He's a rider. He doesn't recognize that his entire organization is the elephant. And they need to be inspired. They need to understand the what, the how, and the why. Because there's not one executive in a company with all the rationale in his head that's going to be able to guide that elephant to where it's supposed to go. Does that make sense? So this happens a lot. Anybody witness this? Anybody at the receiving end of this? Yeah. So you want to change, we need to align rider and elephant. Here's the other side. You reach elephants without riders, people have passion without direction. This is the Mardi Gras. I mean, I don't know, Super Bowl, post-Super Bowl, right? Who's seen this? Right? I've seen NFL football teams that look like this. Game plan just wasn't, wasn't there. On the other hand, when rioters and elephants move together, change can come easily. Here's three surprises about change. I alluded to one already. Whoops, I'll give you all three. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been like, what looks like a people problem is often a situational problem. Right? What might appear like laziness might simply be exhaustion. And the need for that employee to be re-energized, re-inspired. What looks like laziness is often exhaustion. I went to that. There it was. Should I make that bigger for you, Casey? Sorry, man. And what looks like resistance is often lack of clarity. Execution is dependent on two things. By the way, if I haven't shared this with you in the past, I found this very, very interesting. There was a, another study done some time ago where, I'm not even sure which firm went out and sponsored and did the study, but they surveyed like well over 350 executives small, medium, and large companies. They said, what's your biggest problem? Execution. Execution. We just don't execute. We think a lot, we plan a lot, we get a little energized, but we don't execute. Right? Of that 75%, 68% of them, so still better than 50%, said they couldn't do anything about it. I thought, oh my gosh. Where are the board of directors right now? Right? Because those ex executives should not be in those roles. And so we did more research. The two things that will ensure or increase your probability of change in execution, number one is called strategic clarity. It's nothing more than whatever your strategy is, you break it down into its simplest form and you share it with your organization. The second element is what we call deployment. Deployment is nothing more than taking the elephant and chunking it down. 
and showing your organization how it can be consumed. Strategic clarity and deployment. Two keys for successful execution. So these are the three surprises about change. We happen to just, would always say, well, why don't people change? Well, it's because people. People don't want to change. Well, that's not totally true. Aligning the rider and the elephant. So to direct the rider, you need to provide crystal clear direction, strategic clarity. To motivate the element, elephant, excuse me, engage people's emotions and your own. Make it worth it. Communicate your goals to other people so that other people are vested. Because you're more likely to let yourself down first than someone you care about. And last, this is the situation thing, and that's to shape your environment or shape the path. Shape the situation, and the situation is the path. Final tips. Be very specific about your goals. It's the only way that it will really activate your ass. Sorry, your racks. <laughs> You just get I'm that? Sorry. Yeah, edit that out too. Tom. Well, I would have been disappointed if someone didn't laugh at that. I practice that a lot. It's your, it's your reticular activating system, but your goals have to be clear. A vague goal will not activate anything. Excite both the rider and the elephant, which really means to align them. Uh, this is no commercial, because you can do what you want with it. Uh, we work with many of our climates and cl climates, clients and actually take them through an alignment process where we take the goals of the owners, right, or the stakeholders in the company, we understand those, we share those with all the employees, right? And then we ask the employees along with the owners there, what behaviors will be needed? And we have the mission statement there as well, or a vision statement, whichever you prefer. And we saw the, the vision, mission, and goals. And then we ask the employees as well as the what behaviors, what environment will be needed to achieve the goals and the vision? And we list, you know, 20 different things. Sometimes it's how we treat each other. Sometimes it's communication. Sometimes it's planning. Sometimes it's scheduling. Sometimes it's this. Sometimes it's that. And we get all of those down, and those become a code of commitment. So what have we just done? We've affected the environment. Because if the situation were to have been left alone and only the goal survived, that would have been a rider trying to direct an elephant. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Alignment. It doesn't have to be at an individual level. Alignment can be at an organizational level as well. So excite both the rider and the elephant by way of alignment. And here's one that is really critical. This is about chunking down the elephant. If you give someone a goal that you want them to have done in, let's say, six months, sometimes maybe even in a month, depending on the individual and the style of that individual, break down the actions to the smallest time-bound activity so they know exactly, crystally clear, what their next step is. Because first steps, for lack of knowledge, freeze people. Businesses that are seeing success at a rate faster than the slowly uh, reviving recovery are doing things different. As testi testimonial or as evidenced by the staffing company. Businesses that prosper in a recovery and a healthy climate post-recession will be those that have remodeled their model. You're here, therefore, congratulations. You're already in an elite group because you chose to step out of your comfort zone and seek some knowledge. That's it. I'm open for questions. I'm open for some discussion. But thanks for having me. Oh, that's our blog, by the way. Lots of good stuff up there. Jan. Can you give an example of a business that is seeing success at a rate faster than the recovery and their how they're doing something different? Uh, first of all, this is the testimony from that staffing company. Uh, so I didn't get specific oh, I examples. See. Okay. Mm -hmm. 